and uh, well, it's because of one half of this tag team that this match exists in the first place. It's the man on the left. tag team titles home that they have been chasing for quite a long time. But they have a tall task ahead of them. Because after they won the titles, they have become a well-oiled machine. They defeated Money Pound Respect back in December. And it was the bad boys who broke things up back in March. But they're looking to defend them for a second time tonight. Samurai is wearing the shirt of Scoop Robertson tonight. As the Bad Boys trying to call themselves the Uncrowned Champs. In fact, after his win against Dave Dutra back in March, Scoop Robertson thought that he may have had a PPW championship match lined up against Boyce Legrand. And in fact, that in that might have been the plan. However, unfortunately, Scoot Robertson was injured and will not be able to compete for several weeks. He's going to try and be back by July. But we now have a new number one contender in Journey Fight 2. We just hope Scoot gets better soon. He's much beloved here in the Phoenix Theater. We 
we've seen him take so many big risks. He really wanted that shot at the DPW title as well. He came oh so close back in 2020. He won the second ever Kyle Cup and then that same night was in the match where Boyce Legrand won the title. And actually, that same night, it was Grizzly Kaljak and Sir Samurai. And there, Sir Samurai holding up the shirt for Scoot Robertson. Scoot's still going to get a chant tonight. So they won the titles on that same show defeating the Kings of Luxury. That Boyce Legrand won the PPW title from Jacob Fatu and Scoot Robertson in that triple threat match. And Sir Samurai, the veteran, knows his way around the ring. For 30 years, he's been doing this. I say 30 is a round number, but he really has. One of the greats. Sarah reverses into his own side headlock and a head scissor. You can see Samurai really enjoying his early goings on in this match. Xera bows the legs. Oh, he tried to reach out for the headlock. And Samurai just ducked. And that's what I'm talking about with Samurai. Every little trick in the book. Vickers Joe back in the building, getting under the skin of Don Texera. We'll see if Texera stays with it or if he wants to tag in. No, he's saying he wants the big guy. Well, that, I mean, he says he wants the big guy. I, I, I want the big guy, too. I like the big guy. The big guy's one of my favorites. And the tag is in. And Don Texera, who was the number one entrant in the Kyle Cup Battle Royal, went about half the match, will now face off against the big Grizz. Well, he got caught. And uh, that's the 295 pounds press slam and a beauty. And the look on Derek Slade's face. Well, I don't know if he wants in on this match right now, but he just got tagged into it. Welcome in, Cal Cup winner. And he's lifted up into a side slam with ease. A former Division I heavyweight champion. And he is just incredibly powerful. And he does things with ease in the ring for a man 300 pounds. Like that senton. And Derek Slade, basically as soon as he got in the ring, was in trouble. As the tag is now in for Sir Samurai. You have to watch out for Lucian the light on the outside, as always. As now Slade and Samurai face off. Samurai, who has with a uh, numerous opponents, not been afraid as he ducks under that shot and is now fighting off both bad boys and Lucian the light. Oh, but not that time. As Slade hits the complete shot. Now the bad boy's in control over one half of the champs. As the tag is in to Texera. Samurai trying to fight back against Texera, but Texera got him and hits the spine buster. Cover two. And, uh, one count away there from new champs. 
say Lucian the Light was number 20 in that Kyle Cup match. In fact, I thought that Boyce might have entered the match himself to try and win it so that nobody would challenge him. There was a plan, it was just not that plan. And here, no bad company. Cover, hook of the leg, only two again. Because yes, if Boyce had won that match, who's gonna face him? He's the champ. But instead, the idea was Lucian the Light saying, you know what, he's got this. He told the champ as much. Just like that, Lucian the Light was able to get into the match and help Derek Slade to the victory, even though he was eliminated by Jima. And now, double team work there. Side Russian leg sweep with the clothesline, two, and that time Grizz, he was going to go over and try and stop Corey's count because he was not going to get a good angle to break that up. But Samurai was able to kick out. Samurai named to the Hall of Fame this past year. Ducking the clothesline there into the sleeper. Samurai reaching out for a tag. He's not close enough. And smartly, Texera trying to back his way toward his corner. Oh, a jawbreaker. But a tag for Slade in. But Slade cuts off, and Kaljak, he hit the ring bell. Kaljak came right over and he hit the ring bell. Slade into a cover, hook the leg, and Kaljak was able to get in and make the save, but by doing so, allowing the bad boys to jump Samurai from behind. It's gonna take a lot more than a ring bell to take down Kaljak, I'll tell you what. But at the same time, he has to be careful because Samurai, as much as he knows what he's doing in these situations, has been in trouble now for many minutes. As Texera with these elbow drops. Point of the elbow to the sternum two. And that time it's Samurai. With that left shoulder up. And another shot by Texera and Cowjack with a look on his face. Tell you what, as much as Texera and Slate think they know what they're doing, they have to be careful. Because once the big grizzly bears unleash, Samurai trying to battle back. Slade ducking down and backing him into the corner, but it's not deterring one half of the champs. Mr. Punishment taking a lot of it right now. Texera caught, double teamed by Samurai. A flatliner and a DDT. And this crowd wants a tag. Standing room only at the Phoenix Theater. Unless you're on the corner pipes. Samurai looking. And here comes the big Grizzly Bear! Close lines for the bad boys. Side Salto gut right suplex. And one for Texera. Slade. Tilt a whirl into one of his own. Into a power slam. To retain, but two, as Texera breaks it up. And now he's looking for a sleeper, trying to bring the big bear down. Oh, they went for the high-low, they got it. That is for new champs. No, only two. That pump kick with the chop block almost got the job done. 
and now the big grizzly bear is in trouble. And it's rare that this happens. The bad boy's looking to finish him off right now. Slade looks like he's going to the top. Texera, oh, no, that boot was caught. Slides down, nips up. Super kick. Oh, and a slap, and Slade is now prone on the ropes. And the big grizzly bear got red superplex. Cowjack is on a roll now. And this is looking like the champs have looked since we returned back in December. Cowjack looking to finish it off. No, it's caught. Texera held the knee. And now Slade looking for the pump kick. He gets caught. Right in front of us is Texera. Cowjack looking for a power bomb. Lucha the line is up there. There's Boyce! Boyce Legrand is out here! He turns Cowjack around and hits him with the belt! Victory roll by Slade! One, two, three, no way! The champs! But a heartbreaking loss for the now former 
our Tag Team Champions.